face the summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin tomorrow. ABC's Karen Travers has more from Geneva. The meetings are expected to last four to five hours. The first session, President Biden and his Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, Putin and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Later, each side bringing in senior staff. On President Biden's agenda, cybersecurity, Russia's election interference, human rights, and Ukraine. Karen Travers, ABC News, traveling with the President in Geneva. FBI Director Christopher Wray appeared alongside military officials to discuss the response to the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Mr. Wray asked if the FBI deserves any blame for what happened. Our goal is about a thousand, and any time there's an attack, much less, much less an attack as horrific and spectacular as what happened on January 6th, we consider that to be unacceptable, and we are absolutely determined to make sure that we're doing our part with our partners to make sure it never happens again. After a year of remote learning, some parents worried about their children retaining what they learned while they're off this summer. MKE with Kids.com, Keely Hertz, tells Wisconsin's Morning News, there are a couple of things to focus on. If kids can continue reading throughout the summer, that is the single most important thing for all ages. Um, you know, 20 to 30 minutes is what they suggest, but just having it be a fun part of their daily routine. Math is also an important subject to keep refreshing. Callie suggests working in some math problems while cooking or in connection to other summer activities. Most importantly, keep it fun. Aaron Rodgers may be unhappy with the Packers, but doesn't seem to regret his off-season of discontent. In a press event previewing his upcoming golf match with Tom Brady, Rogers made light of his football left off-season. Just relax, to not be bothered, to not have any obligations or anything going on. You know, I think that's what this off-season has been about. It's been about really enjoying my time and spending it where I want to spend it and not feeling like I have to go anywhere, not having any responsibilities, but still being an NFL player. Same time, it's been great. Rogers was absent from this month's mandatory off-season activities with the Packers. QB has threatened to retire if he doesn't get traded. Sports traffic and weather are next. Citing a limited WTMJ news time, 606. This is Chief Home Buyer Helper Brian Wickert. Recent MLS numbers show 8 out of 10 home shoppers paid over the asking price in the most popular two to $300,000 price range. 4 out of 10 paid twenty grand or more over asking. Winning offers today typically give the seller some wiggle room on the appraised value, and that scares most buyers more than it should. Acunus Home Consultants can show you how giving the seller some wiggle room on that appraisal typically does not require bringing more money to close it. That's if you're starting with at least 10% down. We'll then craft your rock solid guaranteed pre-approval to clearly show the seller you can make good on the terms of your offer, and then back that up with our exclusive $2,000 guarantee. You can do this, but not by yourself with your smartphone while you're walking through an open house. Put the power of Acunet and our rock solid guaranteed pre-approval on your home buying team. Just click on the blue button at Acunet.com to get started. That's E-C-C-U-N-E-T dot com. Hey Giacomo, what is the secret ingredient that makes Palermo's Wisconsin's hometown pizza? Well, let me think, Angelo. You know, some people think it's our great crust, others think it's our savory sauces, but it's really our people. That's right. That's why we partnered with Workforce Health at Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. You know, we have over 600 people working really hard for us, and Workforce Health keeps them going strong. Yep, they customize a program just for us. Three times a week, they offer on-site medical care, health training, and more. And you know, our employees love it. And while the goal of our clinic is to keep employees healthier and happier, since it started, we've lowered our turnover rate by 27%. It's a great thing. 